So today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite models of all time, the Nike Air Max. But of course, there's so much different versions of the Air Max. You got the Air Max 1s, the Air Max 97s, 98s, and of course, so on and so forth. But today, we're gonna be talking about the Air Max 90. So let's go. Walk one YouTube, welcome back to the page. Welcome back to another day of the 31 day sneaker challenge. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Air Max 90 corks. And here you have it guys, this is the Air Max 90 Corks. These are amazing. Now, when it came to these shoes right here, it was back in 2015 when Nike was dropping beautiful shoes by themselves. They didn't need no crazy collab. They didn't need no hype behind them, no celebrity endorsement. All they had to do was tell us that a beautiful colorway is coming out and we would have copped. And the court colorway was clean. They had it on the LeBrons, the Air Force Ones, and a whole bunch of other shoes. But let me tell you how I hyped myself up just to say, nah, I'm not about the trends. F this, I don't want this shoe, and I passed on it. This beautiful shoe right here, I did not buy. So in this first debut, of course, I said, you know what, forget it, I don't want it, I'm not gonna buy it. All because if you take a close look at the material, you can see why I wanted to pass. If you wear these shoes over and over, they are going to start flaking off, and that's why I honestly passed. But Nike knew I wanted this shoe so badly, that's why they dropped it in the women's exclusive. So this right here is a woman's 10, because the 11 and the 10 and a half sold out. I tried my best to get my hands on those and I couldn't. So of course, these are actually tight. Don't get me wrong, the shoe itself fit kind of big. So if you guys are trying to dig into the past and buy old shoes, the corks ran a little big, especially this one right here. Being that the shoes is so old and I worn them so much, you could look at the paint right here that is chipping. And this to me, gives the shoe character. I know a lot of people when they see the shoe being worn, creased up, they hate it. They want to repaint it. Nah, nah, nah. Not over here. You see this? I love it because it shows character. It shows that I worn my shoes. Especially since I passed in the original drop and got to buy it on the second drop, I had to make sure I put these shoes through the trenches, through the gutters, because I wore them in the rain, snow, it doesn't matter. These are going on my feet. Do you guys remember when the court collection dropped, especially the LeBrons? When those dropped, a lot of people was wearing them for style. I didn't see a lot of people balling in them, and that made a lot more sense because the material, of course. When the corks dropped, it was all about the luxurious factor or a luxurious color colorway to a calm shoe. But when Nike Soho opened up, they dropped an exclusive cork Air Max 1. Those were fire. Couldn't get my hands on them. The interior was leather. They came with a wooden shoe tree. Mwah. Fire. I'm gonna see if I could find a picture and put it up because you guys have to see how lovely the shoes is. And I honestly wish Nike could go back to that. Drop us some beautiful GRs that's actually gonna be crazy. Now I'm not saying every GR shoes have to be reselling for a lot to be appreciated. But when it comes to this culture right here, a lot of people only seek or give appreciation and respect to a shoe if it has a high value. I don't know how much these are going for now. I might put the map right here so you guys could see. But trust and believe me, even without that high high value even if this shoe had no resale value it will still be high in my sneaker collection especially when it comes to air max 90s these is definitely dope now i want you guys to comment one of your favorite air maxes in your collection it doesn't have to be the 90 it could be a one it could be a 97 just comment what's your favorite air max model and colorway so we could get the comments going i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys love air maxes just like me but with that being said guys love manas and always respect i am out of here